my friends hope you all are all good today we will discuss nine windows privacy settings you should change right now for your privacy and security the first thing is disabling location services apps on your windows 10 or windows 11 pc can track your locations while this can be useful for certain purpose such as apps and weather apps other apps may also access this information for tracking purpose if you are uncomfortable with sharing your location data it's easy to disable location service on windows to do this open settings go for privacy and security and go for app permission and click on to location now you can see by default my location is turned on if you want you can turn off altogether but if you want to turn it on and you want to restrict certain apps for using your location you can do so from in my case i have disabled in each and every applications app by default i have turned it on i can turn it off as well so the next we will discuss on turning off ad tracking windows assigns every user an advertising id a unique code to track the person's online activities. Microsoft then uses this data to show personalized ads across apps and services. If you don't wish to encounter such ads and want to protect your privacy, you can easily turn off ad tracking in Windows. To do this, go for privacy and security. In Windows permissions, go for general and disable let windows show me personalized eyes by using my advertising id in my case i have turned it off turning off ad tracking is a simple and effective way to regain control your personal data and limit how much microsoft knows about your online activities while you will still see ads they will no longer be personalized disabling activity history Disabling activity history feature tracks your actions such as apps you are used or using, files we have opened and websites we have visited. If you don't like this idea of having your activities being recorded, you can turn off this feature off. To do this, go for privacy and security. Then go for activity history. Then turn off the store my activity history. Store my activity history on this device. If you want, you can disable it and clear all the existing data which is present on your account. So the next we will discuss on turning off cloud content search and search history. By default, Windows search functionality doesn't look just look to access a local file. It also pulls the content from the web, including OneDrive and your Outlook and your and other Microsoft services you are using. On top of that, Windows keeps a record of all your search queries in the name of improving your search experience, but it's collecting some of your data. Fortunately, it's possible to stop Windows from pulling results from the cloud and storing your search history. To do this, go for privacy and security. Go for search permission and disable these toggles in cloud content searches. Microsoft account allow Microsoft search to provide results from the apps and service that you are signed in and with your Microsoft account and, and you can clear the history as well. Search history on your device to improve your search suggestions. Let window or let windows search store your search history and history locally on your device you can turn off this and you can clear the previous history as well number five we will see prevent windows from sending diagnostic data to help ensure windows run smoothly and provides an error-free experience microsoft collects all kinds of diagnostic data from your computer this data can include details about your app usage future interactions and errors you encounter while this helps microsoft improve its operating system it can feel intrusive if you prioritize your privacy and security while you can stop 
windows from collecting and sending all the data. You can opt out of sharing optional diagnostic data with Microsoft by changing the settings. To do this, go for privacy and security. Go for diagnostics and feedback. You can turn off sending optional diagnostic data. Help Microsoft improve your Microsoft experience and fix problems more quickly and sending us additional diagnostic data. So you can turn, it off, turn off this option. So the next and very important setting is disabling online search recognition. Several apps on your PC rely on Microsoft online speech recognition technology by process your voice commands and, and transcribe your speeches. However, if you don't use apps that require voice recognition, disabling this feature can provide peace of mind for your security. Ensure your voice data is not collected without your knowledge. To disable this option, go for privacy and security. Go for speech and turn off this option. Use your voice for apps using Microsoft Online Speech Recognition Technology. So turn off this option. So the next we are discuss about disabling the shared experience. One of the benefit of using a Microsoft account on your Windows PC is that you can sync your activities across all your devices using the same account. However, this can also risk your privacy by making your data more accessible across platform for everyone. If you don't want to do this and you want to restrict the sharing of your data across your platform, you can go for settings, then you can go for apps, then you can go for advanced app settings, then you can check this one, store, share across devices. In my case, I have selected only for my device only if you want you can select my device only and if you want you can do it for everyone or uh, if you want to disable you can turn it off the next we will discuss on review reviewing your camera and microphone permissions your camera and microphone are among the most sensitive device on your pc as you can capture private moments and conversations and your talks since many app request access to these features for legitimate purpose such as video calls and video recording, disabling camera and microphone access entirely may not always be practical but you have to review it periodically. To address this, it's important to review which apps have the access to your camera and microphone or windows. This allows you to identify any suspicious app or program that might invade your privacy and take necessary steps to disable this access or remove altogether. To do this, you go for privacy and security and go for microphone. You can see I have turned on the access, microphone access and these many applications are using my microphone if you want to disable you can disable for all the applications here or you can review each and every apps which are using your microphone access and you can disable it from here so the next one is microsoft privacy dashboard go to google and search for microsoft account privacy dashboard open this link Adjusting the privacy settings mentioned earlier should help protect your personal information. But if you are concerned about the data Microsoft have already collected, you can use the Microsoft Privacy Dashboard. This is a centralized tool that lets you view, manage and delete data associated with your Microsoft account across devices and services. To do this, log into this account with log into this website with your Microsoft account and go for Microsoft Privacy Dashboard and in that you will be having Privacy and Privacy Dashboard button. In this Microsoft Privacy Dashboard button, you will find various options such as Location Activity, Browsing History, Search History and more. You can go through each category to review and remove the data that you have been collected by Microsoft. 
Regularly managing your data through the Microsoft Privacy Dashboard is the great way to take an action role in protecting your privacy. By taking time to adjust these privacy settings on your Windows PC, you can significantly reduce the amount of personal data collected and stored without your realization or your without your consent. Whether it's disabling location service or turning off the ad tracking or turning off the microphone. Reviewing app permission each step by step makes a difference and protect your information from unwanted exposures. So let's go to the settings and privacy and protect your data. Thank you for watching my video. Keep in mind, data is the most precious thing and anyone can have it. So try to protect your data and privacy and have a peaceful life. Thank you for watching my videos. If you like if you like my video please share like and subscribe if you want such more videos in the future kindly let me know thank you friends